Hello guys, welcome to another video by Project Maker. In this video, I will be demonstrating you my new project which is Wellness AI Advisor. This project can simply replace the dietitians or the doctors which give health advice or in simple terms the doctor which plans your diet. In this project, you just have to upload your photo of your meal or a plate. Simply tell the how many calories are present in each item present in your meal. And based on that, it will provide the suggestion that whether it's a healthy meal or unhealthy meal. Also, it will give you suggestion that you can remove this item from your meal and add this item so that your meal will become more healthier, which will help you to stay healthier in life. So this was basic introduction of my project. Now let's move to the live demonstration of my project. So as you can see, this is my AI project playlist. Now I will simply open my wellness AI advisor app in front of you, which is this app as you can see. So this is a beautiful title which is of Wellness AI Advisor and the beautiful emoji of doctor which means it can act as your personal dietitian or doctor as I told earlier. The simple task you have to do is that you have to simply upload your image of your meal. So let's do that. So these are the two meals. One is healthy meal and one is unhealthy meal. So let's try both of them. So I will simply take this image and just open it in this project. So this is the photo of that image and as you can see it's a very healthy meal as it includes in tomatoes, cucumbers and other things. So let's check what this bot says about the meal. So let's wait for some time. And as you can see the response is in front of us. So first is quinoa which is of 28 calories, eggs which are of 78 calories. So this is a egg and it is half egg as you can see bell pepper, cucumber, so this is cucumber, chickpeas, blueberries, walnuts, leaves, onion, chia seeds, tomatoes. So as you can see it has identified all the items present in the meal and also calculated the calories of each item as you can see. And the total calories are 765 and the suggestion after saying the meal is that the meal is healthy as it contains good balance of carbohydrates, proteins, fats and fiber. The percentage spilled of ratio of carbohydrates, proteins, fat, sugar and calories in meals are Carbohydrates in entire meal is 45%, proteins is 20%, fat is 25%, sugar is 10%, calories is 100%. As you can see the meal is good but still it has provided a suggestion that you can add some items. So the items are the meal can be improved by removing the chia seeds. So the chia seeds give 70 calories and walnuts and walnuts also use 185 calories as they are high in calories adding some lean proteins such as grilled chicken or fish would make it meal more balanced so it is also su suggesting me even if i have a good meal now let's try this project on bad meal or let's say unhealthy meal so i will simply browse file upload this unhealthy food so as you can see it is a burger french fries sauces so let's click on this button and let's see what the bot says about this meal. I have downloaded these two images from internet to show you the demo. You can directly upload your photo of your meal from your camera after hosting this app on Streamlit. So the response of this meal is that hamburger which is 300 calories, cheeseburger 350 calories, chicken nuggets 200 calories, french fries 300 calories, ketchup 20 calories, mayonnaise 50 calories, mustard 10 calories. So, before going to have all such unhealthy food, do remember that how much calories they give us, which is unhealthy for our health. So, the total calories are 1 to 3 zero calories. This meal is not healthy, which is 100% correct. It has high calories, fats and sodium. It has low nutrients and the percentage spilt of carbohydrates, proteins, fats are as follows. Carbohydrates 45 percent Proteins 20%, fats 35 sugar 10% and calories is 1 to 3 zero, which is this as you can see. To make the meal healthier, you should remove following items. I think it has given list of all items. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it is saying remove all items and add following items, which is grilled chicken, breast, brown rice, steamed vegetables, salad and fruits. So it is saying to just replace your entire meal and add this item in your new meal. So this meal is much healthier option. It has low calories, fats and sodium. It has high nutrients, which is 100% correct. So this is a suggestion given by my wellness advisor bot. I hope you might be curious that how I created this project. To create this project, I use Gemini Pro Vision model API key, which works on images as well. 
Now, without wasting any time, let's move to the implementation part of this project so that you can also create your own wellness advisor app which can help you to stay healthier. So let's move to our destination folder. By the way, I have run this project in localhost only. So the project is already open in the VS code in this folder. So I will simply open VS code in front of you guys. And don't worry, all the files displayed in this video will be available to you in the description. So let's start by requirement.h which contains the libraries and packages required to run this project. So there are only three libraries as you can see it is Streamlit which is a hosting partner, Google Generative AI and Python.env. So this is responsible for loading environment variables in our code. So this was all about requirement.txt file. Now let's move to the main file. So the first question is from where should you get API. So you can simply click on this link and go to get API. So this is a simple website created by Google for our AI developers. Click on this get API button and to and simply get an API. You just require to sign in and it's a free API. Now let's move back. After that I have simply declared some packages. So first is .env to load environment variables. And I have loaded the environment variables using this method. Load underscore .env. After that imported streamlit, imported OS, imported google.generative AI which is responsible for uh, fetching and requesting the data and from peel because we will be dealing with images in this video so I have imported peel after that I have simply configured API key with this uh, genai or google generative AI and passed here as API key so this API key is present in my this environment variable also in last video I have shown that how you can create this .env file and store your API key there so you can definitely watch out that video if you face any difficulties in creating this .env file. Now let's move ahead. So next function is to load Gemini provision API and get response. So I have simply added three lines in this function. So it simply takes input and image. Inputs means that prompt input and the image. Image that we uploaded on the UI. So first point is a generator or generative model. So we are loading this model Gemini provision. So we will be using this model as this model works on images also and text also. After that we will simply pass our input and image to this model to generate the content. And the con generated content will be stored in this response variable. And the output of this response variable is JSON data. But we are only interested in textual data. So we will re return only respond.txt. So the output will be displayed in our output screen. So the text data is simply this data as you can see. After that the next function is input image setup. So I have simply copied this function from chat GPT. This function simply ensures that the user has uploaded the file. Or not if he has not uploaded input image it will simply provide a suggestion to user that please upload an image or give a message that no file uploaded as you can see so now let's move ahead so next is initializing our output window so first line is to set page config so this method is simply used to add a configuration details of that page so first detail is page title so page title is wellness AI advisor you can also add your icon if you wish after that st dot set header so this header is simply this header which is wellness AI advisor I have written here after that uploaded file so this is variable and I have created a file uploader and the text of that uh, file uploader will be choose an image which is this line after that I have make sure that the uploaded image is jpg jpg or png only after that I have simply created an empty variable to store the binary data of that image in this variable using p. As you can see in this next line if uploaded image is not null which means the user had uploaded some image then simply load that image in image variable and display the image that the user has uploaded. So this is the uploaded image and it has displayed it and the text is uploaded image here as you can see which is this. After that uh, the submit button which is st dot button tell me about me which is this button as you can see. After that I have simply written an input prompt which will go to the Gemini Provision API model along with the image. So the input prompt is as follows. You are an expert in nutritionist where you need to see some food items from the image and calculate the total calories. Also provide details of every food item with calorie intake in below format. 
item number one number of calories at two item number two number of calories and so on after doing this mention that the meal is healthy or not and also mention percentage of split ratio of carbohydrates proteins fat sugars and calories in the meal which is these details finally give me suggestion which item should be removed and which item should be added to meal to make the meal healthier if it's unhealthy so due to this last line the following output is printed in front of us which is to make this meal healthier you should remove these items and add these items so this was the basic input text or input prompt after that if submit button which means if submit button is clicked image data so load image data and verify the image data is correct or not using this input image set of but function which is uh, this function that i have copied from chat gpt after that uh, to get the response so we have to pass input prompt and image data to that model or let's say the function it will simply give the data to gemini provision model and fetch the output and return it after that i have simply written st.subheader the response is which is uh, this response and st dot write response so it has simply printed the response in output screen which is entire response so this was a simple project that i have created using gemini provision model i hope you love this project and definitely try out this project after watching this video so that's all for today's video if you like this video then don't forget to share it with your family and friends and if you face any queries while running this project, you can simply message me on Instagram or in comment section below. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.